Hey guys, Dragon Eye 13 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Devil May Cry 2. Yep, still a thing. Mission 5. The Protector must rise to confront destiny head on. Alright. Not gonna really bother with mission uh, prep for this one. It's a really easy mission. But yeah, we spotted that helicopter and we followed it down to this factory, I think it is. Of some variety. And we're going to see if we can't find where that helicopter is going to be. First, Mistress. Don't have to fight these guys, but whatever, I'm in the neighborhood. Now they endlessly spawn, so don't worry too much about actually fighting them. I was just doing it for fun and orbs. Anyways, coming here to the hangar with a. Wait, is it? Yeah, okay. Hangar where there's going to be a plane. And some enemies, because of course. The enemies here are gonna be goddamn Puyas, so fuck them. Oh, and wheel. Wheel fuckers. But anyways, come into this plane and break this box to get a cranky bomb. This is a very weird weapon to use, but very powerful. Basically, you place it on the ground, after a couple seconds it explodes, or if an enemy walks into it, it'll explode. And this is very easy to take advantage of because you can drop it from the air right onto an enemy's head. Now, it's slow enough that it's really not going to contribute to the style gauge at all, but... Or at least it's not going to maintain it, but it's very powerful. So I'm going to be using it a lot. Alright. So you get the power going. Oh, by the way, I should have done this before, but there's an orb up here. Come on, there it is. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's better to do that before you uh, turn on the power, but whatever. Don't really care. I'm just going to keep moving. But yeah, we're doing something a little different. We're starting with Lucia instead of Dante uh, for this section, and there's a reason for that. But alright. Now that the power's on, we can come out here and get something. Yeah, this just kind of happens. Evil heart. Absorbs the possessor's powers. Hey, remember that part in Devil May Cry 1 where you had the, uh, I believe it was called the Guiding Light, and it would slowly drain your health until you put it into the keyhole? Yep, same idea. So, let's not dawdle, shall we? Also, let's not bother with the Puyas. Alright, there's a blue orb fragment right in there. And we want to go up here. Break this. Well, not break it, but you know what I mean. Because that will expose an amulet piece up there. Let's go get it. As we slowly die. Damn it. 
thought I could thought I could dodge away fast enough. And just for the record, uh, if an enemy dies from uh, those spaceers or whatever they're called, uh, you don't get any orbs from it. So be mindful of that. Man, this is a long ass way down. Now that we're at the bottom, with our aerial heart equipped, we can fly to the top. Get that amulet piece. And also this will help us regen some health that we're losing from the evil heart. Now we have the flame heart. Oops. There we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep regenerating health for now. But yeah, the, the flame heart makes our attacks flame based instead of ice based, which is what Lucia's uh, default amulet equipment is. Oops, did not mean to fly there, but that's alright. Also did not mean to go out that door, but that's also alright. Okay. You poor fellow. Here we go. Put the evil heart in here. And then it powers the base, I guess? I'm not sure. At the very least, it seems to transform into a different amulet piece. The Electro Heart. Now our Devil Trigger is lightning based. Which is this... This is actually the uh, heart piece that uh, Dante has by default for damage. Alright, these tunnels. They have blood goats in them. This is a good chance to uh, demonstrate the power of the cranky bombs. There's a good way to use them. Just jump and drop. Now you can drop all sorts of cranky bombs. I don't know what the max number is you're able to get out before they start exploding, but it's something like three or four. Now again, these don't contribute to the style rank at all, so... Wow, I knocked him way farther than I thought. fight those guys, but fuck it, why not? If you come up here, there's some boxes you can break for more orbs. Always oh, nice. Thought there was more. Ah. Huh. Weird, I thought those were breakable too. Anyways. Get some orbs right there. And actually, by jumping up that high, I've triggered the enemies that spawn for the elevator before I actually get on the elevator. They're just flam bats, so you can just spam your your guns and you'll be fine. Here. 
Break these barrels for more orbs and enter the door on the right for a secret room. Level 5. Wheel fuckers. Lots of wheel fuckers. Oh, they do actually contribute to your style rank. Neat. And they're actually worked them into a combo, so I don't I didn't know that. Yeah. Fuck these guys. Now we got a bunch of them and a goat wing. So, fuck it, have some bombs. Or er, rather, there we go. Fuck it, have some bombs. Thus, the power of cranky bombs. Ah, you fucker. See why I fucking hate these guys? Alright. Now that that's over. Get your orb fragment. And get out to the helipad. Here's where that chopper was headed. And that is Arius. He's our villain. And that's also the end of the mission. So what happened when Lucia met Arius? Yeah, we'll find out later. Alright, for right now let's head back to our favorite devil hunter, shall we? Mission 7. A meeting of power shall end in conflict. Meeting of power? That sounds like I'm going to meet someone evil. Alright, I'm actually not going to spend any orbs at the start of this. Let's just go right in. Ah, the helicopter's arriving before Dante gets there, so that must mean Lucio comes first chronologically. Yeah, trying to find out the timeline of these events is too confusing. But yeah, we're back in the same spot, except Dante's going to be going down that pipe instead of to the uh, hangar. But just like before... Dante is a little easier to get your rank up. A little bit. Against these mistress. So we'll be getting quite a few more orbs. an enemy there now my ranks okay no ah damn it all right whatever any more, more orbs over here? Nope. Alright. Right. So let's slide down this pipe. <laughs> this is kind of neat. Neat little camera angle there. No, it's not neat. Puyas. Hate these things so goddamn much. Anyways, remember where uh, Lucia got the blue orb fragment? With Dante, you get a gold orb. Oh, 
but we're gonna be heading to the same spot. Fuck these Puyas, I'm not bothering. And again, same idea. In fact, this area is pretty much exactly the same as Lucy is. Alright, let's go. Hey, you know what? This is gonna take a while. I'm gonna use the quick art. Just to speed things up. Hey, can you blow up and kill these guys? Thanks. There we go, that made things a little faster. Hey, can you blow up and kill these guys? Thanks. Again, same idea, we need the aerial heart to get us up there. There we are. Now, what will Dante get out of this? Because you see, I got the flame heart before. Dante gets the flame heart. <laughs> yep, exactly the same. The only thing different is Dante doesn't have the red orb fountain in the middle of the room. Which, whatever. I fought all those Mistras for orbs before. Speaking of. Remember that poor bastard on the table? Well, with Dante, he actually has something for us. The Vendetta. Oops, not any notes. So the idea with this sword is same exact moves as all his other swords. It's really lame in that regard, but it has shorter range, but does much more damage. So, yeah, we're going to be using this. Also, examine this corner of the wall for a secret room. Level 11. Oh, I landed right in wheel fuckers. Oh, we're in wheel fucker territory now, son. You. Yeah, look at these guys. Everywhere. Okay, a bit of stupid damage. And not that great of a style rank, but... Yeah, overall could have been worse. Keep moving. In here. There's an elevator. You'll never believe what's going to happen as we're going down this elevator. Yep, we get attacked. Just playing bats again. So just spam your guns, keep moving, and you will be.
Oh, are those... Hey, blood goats. What's up, fellas? Sorry, you're gonna have to give me a minute here. Gotta wait for the elevator to actually finish before I can leave. Give me a minute. Be right with you. Alright. Oh, you... Alright, you asshole. corner right where I want them. Nice. Very nice fight. Alright. So now we hop into this I don't know, cable car? I'm not sure what this is. But it's going to take us from the factory to the oil field. And as you might guess, we're getting ambushed while we Very confined space, but it also works to our favor because it's always going to be an enemy that we can hit to keep our style rank up. Now, I'm not a hundred percent if you have to kill all the enemies or if it's just a time thing. I wouldn't be surprised either way. But, if, in, in any case, just keep on whacking. I guess it is a time thing. All right. All right, we've arrived. Usually when I'm in there, the fights drag out long enough that all the enemies are dead as we're arriving, so I guess that's why I got confused. That's all right. Anyways. More flame bats are going to attack you here. That's fine. I can just do that. Oh, you asshole. Let's see, how do you get your ass? You get knocked on your ass by a bat. That's what I meant. I I almost said, how do you get your ass knocked? But no, 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 that's not right. Anyways, Lucia went in that room for a secret door. So Dante's going to go in this door. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like that's a nice touch. Anyways, Auromancers. Actually, Auromancers and... Oh, no, they're, just, they're all Auromancers. I thought one was a Pyromancer. My bad. Right, here we go. Here's a Brontomancer. So you can see our new Vendetta doing quick work. Very nice. You know, this mission's going really swimmingly. All things considered. Alright, let's head out to the helipad. Let's meet with Arya, shall we? I wonder where Lucia went.
Yep, that's the end of the mission. Mission 8. The challenger shall rise while the king evades. The king's evading? Oh, that asshole. Uh, anyways, let's power up our vendetta, shall we? Because I really like this sword. And then... Yeah, nothing else we can really do, so let's just go. This is a boss fight mission. Note how Arius behaves during these cutscenes, by the way. Hmm. Maybe another time. There's a reason I'm pointing this out. And I always love when like bad guys will just snap their fingers and cause like some monster to appear. Like, I gotta wonder the logistics of how that works. Like, do they rehearse this? Do they? Is it based on where they snap their fingers? How they snap their fingers? That dictates what demon comes out? Do they think about a specific demon when they snap their fingers? I don't understand. But yeah, this guy. Fury Taurus. He is very easy. So easy, I'm gonna spend the first part of the fight just gathering orbs. Yeah, he charges at you. And when he doesn't hit you, he will immediately stop charging and leave himself open. Also, he does this, where he'll summon a ring of fire, which, surprise, surprise, that hurts you. Don't get hit by that. And then he will swing his hammer, which has a bit of suction, try and pull you in. That's why I had to come over here, because he broke those barrels. How am I fucking this up? But yeah, you can... As you see, the suction's not very powerful, so you, you're, you're safe. Let's go. Go, dude. Gonna get a couple hits in, then back off, because he's gonna summon fire. Pelt him with bullets to, uh... Keep your style rank up. So this is going to be a lot of the fight right here. Get used to this. Just me spamming guns from afar to keep my rank up. As he keeps doing this. Now usually you'll get lucky, he'll only do it once. And then he'll charge you again. Come on, let's go. Oop. Getting a couple hits and back up. Here we go again. I broke those, now I gotta go get those orbs. Oh, you dick, come on. Charge me. Let's go get those orbs. Okay, I guess he didn't, yeah, he didn't want me getting those orbs. Asshole. Fine, I see how it is. Come on. Okay, really? Really, though? Well, this sucks. Maybe I have to be closer. Hey, come on. Look at me. I'm within prime charging distance. Let's go. Finally, Jesus. Damn. Up here, three more. 
orb. Okay. Yeah, let's go, let's go. There we go. Yeah, he's... He's really easy. Disregard the couple times I got hit, because I am being dumb. Yeah, he, he is no problem. Anyways, that's all for him. Alright, let's move on to the next mission, shall we? Oh boy. Mission 9. The hunter will discover the purity of speed. What that translates to? Move your ass. Eh, yeah, I'm good. All right, let's let's just go. I'm not a fan of this mission. Just gonna throw that out there. But yeah, this uh, this building's gonna explode. In fact, it's gonna explode in 12 minutes. Let's waste time by fighting Mishra, shall we? Really, we're just doing this to get some orbs. Because the time limit's actually fairly generous. You can take your time getting orbs from these guys. Oh, what? Fucking wall. Well, orbs and, you know, stylish points. Because again, you're, you're judged on that by the end of the mission. We're not going to do this for much longer, but while we're doing this, let's talk about Artorias, shall we? So, he comes to this uh, oil field for something, I don't know. So remember how uh, Matthias told uh, Lucia that the next Arcana was in the ruins? Well, I don't think these are ruins, so... I don't know what he was doing here. I mean, Dante was here hunting Artorias. But I don't know why necessarily she decided to take this detour. I, I guess she thought, okay, I'll just stop Artorias now before this demon shit gets any worse, but I don't know. Then Artorias did something, and he just leaves. And I guess he's blowing up the factory on the way? I don't know. Unless Killing Fury of Taurus did it? Well, considering how much this place is on fire, I suppose it's possible that the fight with Fury of Taurus just caused so much fire damage that the whole place is ready to go. I guess. I'm not sure. But yeah, that's, that's enough fucking around with the Mistress. Let's leave. Because there's so much worse shit to do in this mission. Actually, I kid, there's only one thing that we, that's really, really going to suck. But luckily, there's a workaround to make it less suck. Alright. Alright, Flambats come back. I don't care. I'm just gonna leave. I 
think... Yeah. Now Dante gets the red orb found. Nice. Alright. Oops, Devil Trigger. Uh, I gotta save it. You need to save your Devil Trigger for... the part coming up here. Well, I guess you don't strictly need to, as long as you got the... accuracy of a god when it comes to the left stick. I'll explain in a bit, but... it's in the next area. So first we gotta get past all these Spiseers, whatever. Grab a couple of red orbs along the way, whatever. You know, no big deal. So be careful the camera changes, don't fall in. You're gonna waste time. Right then. So we gotta flip three switches in order to open the door. Simple. Very simple, actually. Problem is that uh, Quidas are. They exist, and they'll throw off your auto targeting, so you'll be swinging at them instead of the switches. So you almost kind of have to position yourself around that. There we go. Alright, now comes the bit that sucks. Do you remember that pipe that Dante slid down to get into this area? Up here? Well... At the very top of it is a blue orb fragment. And getting it is a pain in the butt, but here's a way to make it a little easier. What you do is you, is you stop getting controller tied. Okay, jump. Shoot until you can't. All right. It's a very annoying maneuver, but what you do, jump until you're not getting any more vertical height. Start shooting until you're not getting any more vertical height. Double jump until you don't get any more vertical height. Shoot again until you don't get any more vertical height. And then just aerial heart. That lets you get that very easily. Alternatively, you can, I think, walk along the pipe, but fuck that. That is so hard to do. I spent like, I don't know, 10 minutes in a practice run trying to do that just to see if I could, but nah. Wasn't happening. So I finally said, fuck it. Fucker. You don't have to fight these guys, I'm just gonna. Just cuz. We're honestly almost at the end of the mission. So might as well just turn some more orbs, you know. Like the mistress, I think these guys endlessly spawn. I and mean, I lost my style rank. Fuck it. Alright, let's go. Let's just get out of here. Alright, now it's Dante's turn to go into the hangar to get to that plane. Keep thinking there's an orb there for some reason. Is it up here? No. Okay. No, I'm just crazy. Alright. Alright. If you remember, Lucia turned on the wind tunnel here, so getting through is a pain in the butt, but not that bad. Now that I'm thinking about it, I can't remember if Dante also has the orb on the tail. He does not. Okay. So let's just go in. And remember that box on the right there where Lucia got the cranky bombs? I wonder if Dante can get something from there. Oh, you bet your butt he does! The missile launcher. This thing is very powerful, but you can only fire it while you're on the ground and it is very slow to shoot. So it's hard to work into a combo, but damn is it strong. I like it. Alright, just go out here and that's the end of the mission. Well, yep, that place is screwed. Anyways, I guess I'll go somewhere else next. How does he know where to go next? I don't know, but... He does. I 
And that's the end of the oil tanker chapter. Oh, wait, no, I'm thinking of Metal Gear again, aren't I? Oh well, see you guys next time.